Did you know that in Thor Ragnarok, 2017, this scene is a reference to the Doom cover with Scourge? Carl Urban, who portrays Scourge, also portrayed the main character in Doom, 2005. Did you know that in Encanto, 2021, when Abuela asked for music and Augustine play the piano riff, it's the beginning of En Barranquilla Mi Cueto, a famous salsa song by Colombian Joe Arroyo. Did you know that in Spaceballs, 1987, Dark Helmet is drinking from a styrofoam cup because crew members would leave them around the set? So, Mel Brooks decided to just make them a part of the universe. Did you know that in Wally, -E, 2008, in the opening scene, you can see wind turbines and nuclear plants built on top of trash mountains to imply that mankind didn't convert to clean energy until it was too late. Did you know that in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, 1989, the Nazi outfits are genuine World War II uniforms, not costumes? They were found in Eastern Europe by co-costume designer Joanna Johnston. Did you know that in Man of Steel, 2013, Clark asks his father can't I just keep pretending I'm your son? After finding out he's not his biological son. This is taken almost word for word from a conversation the film's writer David Goyer had with his own adopted son. Did you know that in The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, 2018, Buster refuses to play a poker hand with a pair of aces and eights? In poker, this is a cursed hand known as the dead man's hand. It is thought to have been the hand which gunfighter Wild Bill Hickok was holding when he was shot in the back of the head. Did you know that in Austin Powers and Goldmember, 2002, the flashback scene featuring a younger Nigel Powers is actually footage from the early Michael Caine movie Hurry Sundown, 1967? Did you know that in Ghostbusters, 1984, it was Bill Murray's idea that Venkman be covered in much less marshmallow than the other characters? In contrast, Dan Aykroyd loved the shaving cream and kept asking for more to be applied to him. Did you know that in 1917, 2019, when Schofield is running along a trench, another soldier runs into him and trips him up? This was unscripted, an extra accidentally ran into George McKay during this particular take, but McKay recovered and kept running.